Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Thrive Free Reading Room Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and I hope you're having a good day today. Many, uh, many families are off today for the 4th of July celebration. And uh, maybe last night you heard some fireworks and that made a lot of noise. Did you see them though? Oh, they were just so beautiful. Yes, they were. So here we go. The birthday of our United States of America. What a great celebration. <clears throat> well, the first, um, first time, let's, let's all get together and, and sing our hello song, shall we? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. I absolutely, I hope mommies and daddies are home today and, uh, and if it's a caregiver or many, they'll join in and encourage you to participate and they will participate too. Okie doke. So we'll have a much more fun that way, I'm sure. Well, we all know Yankee Doodle, don't we? Come on, nannies do, and they sing beautifully, and I know they do. So come on, help me sing. Yankee Doodle went to town a riding on a pony, stuck a feather in his hat and called it macaroni. Yankee Doodle, keep it up. Yankee Doodle, candy. Mind the music and the step and let the girls be handy. Can you pretend you're riding a horse, though? Yes, I know you're a horse, not, not a pony. I know, I understand. But, but that's, that's the song and then we have to do what we have to do. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Pretend you're on a horse. Yankee Doodle went to town a riding on a pony. Stuck a feather in his hat and called his macaroni. Yankee Doodle, keep it up. Yankee Doodle, dandy. Mind the music and the step and with the girls be handy. Yeah. So what did we say this was? This was the flag of the United States of America. And that's the country that we have right now, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and we are celebrating a birthday. So shall we sing happy birthday? Huh? Remember what I said, how many years old our country is? 245 years old, right? And we pretend these are the fireworks, sure. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear USA. Happy birthday to you. How old are they? How old are you now? How old are you now? How old are you, USA? How old are you now? 245 years old. Wow, that is old, but not for a country. We're still very young. Yes, we are. So here are all our fireworks and celebrations and some of it still going on today, I'm sure. There, oh, so pretty, so pretty. So let's put that away for now and We'll see what else we have to celebrate. We have a lot to celebrate today, as in every day. Oops, well, that's not a very big celebration. We have the whole scenery disappear. Oh, no, but that's my yard and my garden. And in that garden are little creatures that are fun to see. You get real close. And here's a book by uh, uh, Denise Fleming in the tall, tall grass. Right. <clears throat> and there is a garden. I see some bees. They're very good for our garden. Absolutely very good. In the tall, tall grass. What do I see? I got my way down on my hands and knees and I found a what? A caterpillar, right? Crunch, munch. Caterpillars lunch, right? They do eat an awful lot. 
It looks like they have a lot of feet, but they only have six. We have six. Those others are just pretend feet. Oh, those are hummingbirds. Dart, dip. Hummingbirds sip. What are they sipping? Look at that long beak going right into that flower. Look at that. Ah, strum, drum. Bees hum. Hmm. A uh, crack, snap, wings, flop. And they are going what? For some berries there, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They love my blueberries, they do. Ah. A pull, tug, and slug. Oh, they work very hard. Look at that big leaf that he's pulling. And he'll drag it down into his into his anthill. Ah, slip, slide. Ooh, snakes glide. Oh, they go very, very fast and they glide. <clears throat> ah, scratch, scratch, mole, scratch. What is a mole? Well, it's a little rodent, a little, little animal that lives on the ground. And he can barely see, but he can dig very beautifully. With wonderful tongues. Oh. Oh, skittle, scurry, beetles, hurry. Look at that. Look at them hurrying over those plants. Oh. Zip, zap. Tongues. Snap. Look at that frog tongue. It goes way out whoop, and sticky tongue catches that fly and zoop into the mouth it goes. And that's how a frog eats. Ah, uh, look who else is in my garden. Ah, uh, hip, hop, ears, flop. What are they, huh? They're a little of bunnies that are in my yard. At night, stop, go, fireflies glow. Have you seen the fireflies? Do you stay awake that long, huh? They're out there. Oh, also the bats. Lunge, loop, bats swoop. They're eating up all the, all the mosquitoes that are flying. <clears throat> Star bright. Good night, tall, tall grass. There's the moon. Oh, a lot goes on in your backyard. Absolutely. Well, Wizzy Wizard, do you have a tip for us today? I sure do, Granny Jean. In order to identify letters, children have to be able to differentiate between like and different. Uh, for example, the lowercase n and the lowercase h are very similar, except that the h's line is much taller, so it's hard to differentiate. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> so noticing things that are alike and different, or the same and different, and uh, playing matching games all help later with letter knowledge. Thank you. Well, I see a hill where the land goes up. And on the top is a well. It's a well. And that's where people a long time ago had to go to get water because they didn't have faucets in their house. No, they didn't. And here's Jack and Jill and the children all helped. And their mommy said, come on kiddos, up to get some water for me. And here they go. Jack carries the pail. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Then up got Jack and home did trot as fast as he could caper to old Dame Dodd who patched his knob with vinegar and brown paper. Yeah, there. 
big bandage. Look at that big bandage he has on. So here we go. Come on, see if you can say it with me. Whoops. I lost my pail. I sure did. Okay. Come on, Jack. Hang on to that pail. Oh. There we go. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Then up got Jack and home to trot as fast as he could caper. Up to old Dame Dodd, who patched his knob with vinegar and brown paper. And there he is with his big bandage on. <clears throat> Well, some of us have vegetable gardens. Do you have a vegetable garden? Have you ever seen a vegetable garden where all the vegetables grow? Mm -hmm. Well, this is a wonderful book about a garden. And it tells us about up and down and about. Yeah, some plants, the vegetables are up here in the sun and some vegetables are underground. And some plants wind around and around. Right. They're called vines. And this is by Catherine Ayers. And look at all those creatures in the garden. Some are good and some don't, <laughs> aren't welcome in the garden. Some of them eat our vegetables, yes they do. But <clears throat> in the dirt, we dig a row and drop some seeds and watch them grow. So that's how we do it. Dig a row, put the seeds in very carefully. Hopefully the birds don't eat too many of them. Dirt piles up, seeds go down. Water splashes round and around. So see if you can tell me where up and down are when we say the word, okay? Up, corn grows up. Yeah, there's the, there are the corn um, husks and corn inside. And what? Carrots grow down. Where's down? Right, the bottom. <laughs> and cucumbers grow Around and around. Peppers grow up. Potatoes grow down. And pumpkins vine around and around. Yeah, they grow on vines. Broccoli grows up and beets grow down. Uh-oh, bunny, bunny, we don't want you in there. <laughs> and green beans twine around and around. Look at that. Yeah, they grow, they're called pole beans because they need poles to climb up. <clears throat> Okra grows up, onions grow down. Tomatoes, there they are, twine around and around. And yeah, they're a vine too. Fresh and tasty, get a bunch. Pick some, ah. Pull some. Woo, I pulled out the carrots. Look at that. Whoop. Let's have lunch. Well, look what that family is eating from all the things that they grew. I see a big salad. I see a pumpkin pie. I see some soup. I see corn on the cob. And I see a bunny who really got himself a carrot. And I see a good little ladybug. And I'm not sure about that caterpillar, but I think he's eating my leaves. 
up, down, around, and around. <clears throat> See, I've lost my violets here. Roses are red and violets are blue. Sugar is sweet and so are you. Can you blow a kiss? Roses are red and violets are blue. Sugar is sweet and so are you. Well, let's see. Roses are red and violets are blue. Sugar is sweet, but it's not good for you. Not too much. No, too much is not, not a good thing at all. Well, what else was in that, that book about the garden? Carrots, right? And they grow underneath the ground, right? So we'll put that carrot down under the ground and we'll put his feet up in the air. Nice, Mr. Carrot, helps curly hair. <laughs> His head grows underneath the ground, his feet up in the air. And early in the morning, I find him in his bed. I give his feet a great big pull and bloop, out comes his head. Come on, pretend you're a little carrot. You sit on your bottom and then when you, um, and put your head down. And then when your feet go up, bloop, like that. Let's see if you can do it. Nice, Mr. Carrot. Helps curly hair. His head grows underneath the ground, his feet up in the air. And early in the morning, I find him in his bed. I give his feet a great big pull and bloop, out comes his head. Now, why did I say it helps curly hair? Well, it helps, it helps our whole body. And vitamin A is very, very good for our body. <clears throat> well, let's see. Do you know what this is? This is called a magnifying glass and it makes everything bigger. Look at Granny Jean's eyes. Woo! And you can make, see, and make things look very big. Look at that. Well, I have a book today about A Closer Look by Mary McCarthy. See if you can guess what we're looking at. Pretty hard, I had a hard time too. Closer look. Okay, let's get out our magnifying glasses. And what do we see? A big black dot on a red background. Look, look, look at that. A big round black dot. Now let's take one step back and let's see what we see. Ah, oh, what do you see? I see two black dots with a line between them. Okay, now take one more step back. We can see more. What do we see? Well, we see something that's sort of roundish and it has something at the top there. I'm not sure what that is. Do you think, can you guess? Huh? Take another step back. <coughs> Excuse me. What was it? A ladybug. Look at that. And they're very good for our garden. And here's another one down here that's crawling off the page. A ladybug. Oh, who would have guessed? All right, let's take a closer look. What is that? Another red, big red thing with a green finger. Look at that. What could that be? I right, take a step back. I see many green fingers, right? Three, like that, and it's holding that red thing. What is that red thing? Can you guess? Take another step back. That red thing has some pink too. Hmm, I'm beginning to think maybe it might be what? Ah, a flower. Look at that beautiful flower. Now, the 
your magnifying glasses, look, what do you see? I see a lot of red again, but look, they aren't striped. There isn't a stripe, but they're sort of scallops, right? like fish scales, maybe. I don't know. Birds, birds' feathers sometimes are like that. Oh, there, I see some white too. It doesn't look like a fish to me. They have scales all over, right? That looks like it has feathers and it's green. And what do you see? I see something that looks like a tummy. You see something that looks like a tummy? What do you see? A hummingbird. And where is he going? He's going over to that flower. Look at that long beak he has. Look at that. You know why he has a long beak? So he can put it way down inside though, those cardinal flowers and drink the nectar that's inside. Look again. Ah. What do you see? <clears throat> now let's see, take another step back and we see what? A whole garden with ladybugs, right? And flowers. Where are the ladybugs? I saw them before. Hmm. Well, I just see the one here. I guess. So. so <clears throat> if you look very close, you can see different things, right? Than when you're far away. Look at my big nose. Woo! <clears throat> what did we say this was? A ladybug. In England, they call them ladybirds. Ladybirds. And ladybirds and ladybugs are the same thing. <clears throat> it's just that um, the... Uh, and they are a very good insect because they eat the bad insects that make our plants weak. Right? Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Your house is on fire. Your children have flown. All except one, and that's little Anne. And she had crept under the warming pan. She is safe. This I know. She went just where her mommy told her to go, right? In emergencies, we go do just what our parents tell us to do. Very important, right? Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. Your house is on fire. Your children have flown. Oh, all except one, and that's little Anne. And she had crept under the warming pan. <clears throat> she is safe, this I know, for she went where mommy told her to go. And I guess all her big brothers and sisters were old enough to fly. Right? But ladybugs can fly. They have wings under that big shell. Right. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> in, 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 um, in the summertime, <clears throat> when it's not 4th of July, <clears throat> we have fireworks too, but they're of a different kind. That's thunder and lightning, right? So here we go. Let's get the roses out. And here, grandmas or nannies and daddies and mommies can help you play the ring around the rosy. Have you ever played ring around the rosy? Come on, you do it and I'll and, and help me sing. Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Cows are in the meadow eating buttercups, <gasps> lightning, thunder. <laughs> we all jump up. Can you jump up? Huh? Try that again. And that's the, what thunder is. And that's some, some, uh, some fireworks sound that way too. <clears throat> Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. 
ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Cows are in the meadow eating buttercups. Lightning, thunder, we all jump up. Hey. Well, I think it's time for our song. <laughs> you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. You are my moonshine, my only moonshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my moonshine away. You are my starshine, my only starshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my stars. I think it's time for our bye-bye song, right? <clears throat> so bye-bye to Uncle Sam and bye-bye to our eagle too. And bye-bye to Granny Jean, it's time to say goodbye. And bye-bye to Mrs. Cow. Thank you for participating today and thank you and bye bye to all my friends out there and thank you nannies and mommies and daddies for participating with us. See you next week I hope. Have a good day. Bye bye.